Welcome back to Space Haven Alpha 10. Now, the um, hull construction of our um, somewhat um, curiously uh, looking uh, vessel here has been completed. So um, it's time to start decorating, I think. But uh, before we can do that, we do definitely need an airlock. Uh, the first one of those we want to have here. Um, I'm not sure if we want to place down two of these. Well, they're not really that expensive, so we may just as well place down two of them right away, which means that both shuttles can uh, dock at the uh, new vessel. I, I don't want this thing to be called the uh, Sethos. Um, not at all. This will be the uh, GTV, that is, Great Tentacled Vessel. Uh, um, Kraken. This will be the GTV uh, Cthulhu. There we go. It's almost time for bed, so... As soon as we have these airlocks in place, we can start... Yeah, here, here they go. We can start uh, having a look at the, uh, the walls here. Uh, we do want a wall to go here. Um, and up there, and down there. Let's, uh, let's take a look here. Um, doors. Um, should we use this door instead of that door? I'm not sure. I like this, uh, I wonder if some of the, oh, are there any new walls available? I saw something in one of the patch notes about red walls having been changed, but can't see anything in here. Well, they need to build an airlock, and I think everyone is asleep currently. Uh, let's go back to the uh, Lytos. This is not a good place to have your coffee break, guys. Can't really start building either until they're done. Okay, so all of these are done. This ship properly salvaged. Yeah, so it would seem. Some soft scrap left, but uh, that's about it. Uh, so I guess we can take this machine and remove all of these. Airlock finished. Your new spaceship is starting to take shape. An interesting shape it is as well. You are well on your way to building a new spaceship for your crew. To have your crew prioritize building the new ship, be sure to set some of your crew members to prioritize working on the new ship. Um, yeah, I don't think that's really necessary. We need to build storages, but um, before we do anything of that, let's pause the game. Um, we need the walls here. I like this one. 400 tools. Now, we don't need a wall here, but we do need a wall up here. How did I rotate things in the game? Okay, I've ah, got to check the uh, key binding for rotation. It's been a while since I played the game, so F and G. Um, and the fact that it's been a while since I played the game also might affect my... Um, my uh, performance, as in how well I play. Um, I think... I think I like this wall the best. So there's supposed to be a hull stabilizer here. 
then one, two, three, and then one, two, three, and then one, two, three, four, and five. So that that's correct because we're gonna have a wall going down here. If I build like this, that's not supposed to be a wall though. That's supposed to be a door. And we're using that wall. I don't think there's going to be any more walls this way, so we can place a door there. It's kind of important to place down these doors and walls because we need to heat up the rooms. So we have a large storage is going to go there. Actually, let's use the other door there. And then three more wall pieces and another door and three more wall pieces and another door. And then four wall pieces and we go two this way. And then we have a door here. And this one should have the vent closed, but that's not an option yet. Here we go three and three, and we have another door. I'm not sure if that's going to work, but... Then we go three, another door, and we're now supposed to go four. Ah, perfect. And this is going to be the cargo bay. Building job not possible, no. I assume they're going to use the um, shuttles to uh, bring stuff over. You can see that there is a crate here. Two, three door which means that that's a wall is correct one two three four one two yeah no I need these to finish before I um, build the uh, generator area and of course we can only build the um, Energium power generator, which is crappy generator. That's one thing that I haven't really taken into account of this design. We're going to need research tables, but I suppose they're not that big. Storage, no. Food, no. Resource. Oh, they did add the algae dispenser. It's not something that I want people to have to eat because it generates processed food, which is not very high on uh, the nutritional value. Where is that? There it is. Okay, so it's two by three with three in front. Okay, well, I know where I can place that then. Um... So, that means that doesn't make sense. This door. Oh, okay. It does. I hope it makes sense. And then a door here. One, two, and that's not correct. Like that. Then we go down four, 
on both sides. Don't go all the way because we're going to have a door here as well. Critical resources low, but all of them are on the GTB Cthulhu, so that's not a problem. Can I remove the walls again, please? Thank you. Now, two out from this, there's supposed to be a wall, and there's supposed to be a wall there. I suspect we're going to need more infra blocks, so if I go... This one is working on scrap. Move that here. Revi refine infra block. Requires electronic electronics components. We have a couple of those. 10, 20. And then we can make 20 of those. 30, 40, 50. We need more water as well. Let's make uh, 30 of that. These guys are having their coffee break over here again in the cold. I mean, the temperature here is probably like, uh, yeah, minus 96. That's an excellent place to have a coffee break. And no oxygen. Oh, well, there's a little bit of oxygen here. 10. But compared to 190, uh, I don't think you'd survive that, to be honest. Uh, we can also build a large storage. Actually, we can build two of them. And we can transfer all of these building blocks over to this vessel because I don't think we need those building blocks on the uh, mining station. So. Can't really do much here until we have the generator up and running. Are these expensive to build? Not really. We do want to make sure that uh, we have as much as possible available here. Okay, so these three, they require more build tools. Okay, so apparently, do they transfer tools? Can the tool... Let's see, do I have a tool facility here? That's an oxygen generator. That's a tools facility. I don't know. It needs some infra blocks and it generates building tools. tools facility. I don't think we're going to build two hull stabilizers yet, so let's build a tools facility there. I hope that thing doesn't need power. It does need power, so 
Okay, uh, power. Let's build an energium power generator then. Oh, these are the wrong size. I'm probably going to need two of them then. And we're going to have to research the um, the uh, X1 power generator fairly quickly, but uh, it needs advanced research. Wally and Catherine had a low body temperature. Uh, we could also build the uh, in-floor power nodes. Um, I believe they've changed the uh, power node system so that you can build them in front of doors and things like that. The one, one, two, three, one, and one. And again, one, two, three, four, five, six. And... Uh, we should have the same pattern down here. And that should cover the cargo. It's two power needs. I think. I hope. Let's pause quickly again because we also need, and I think we're going to do that there, we need a wall power node. I want that to be, it doesn't really matter what way it faces, but since this is a corridor, um, it makes sense that it faces towards the corridor rather than into the room in case I want to build something in there. Okay, so now we need to create optimal gas conditions by building an oxygen generator and a gas scrubber. We'll get around to that. Uh, these things require energium. How much do these generate in terms of power? Well, it's not going to tell us until they're actually powered up. Uh, let's go into the link mode. Uh, we want to link these two together. And... Well, that's not linked. You should be aware that the farther away you get from a generator, the uh, more uh, you lose of the power output, so you should take care when dealing... Didn't these used to have three? No, four connections? Maybe they changed that. Yeah, so anyways, you should be careful with the uh, linking so that you get uh, a loop. Uh, one thing that you can do is, of course, use the bidirectional, so I could make a loop here. That it goes from there back to there uh, but I don't think that is necessary uh, it's a specific setup so uh, this is going to cover that one good as soon as everything is powered which is about now how much power does this provide power grid generates 10 per second as opposed to 16 per second this stores 510 and this stores 92 so what you want to do to make sure that you have enough power is to use the um you have to research those now uh, the um power capacity nodes uh, kind of a battery Okay, so with those things in place, we just need the power to start flowing. And now we can go in here 
and we can select all and deny and then we will bring here on all of these blocks i wonder if the super block is used yet so we only want the blocks to be in this storage for now i might revisit this later on What else do we want to transfer over? Could be five blocks. One, two, three, four, five. Good. Uh, the Klytos. I set up a transfer. Yes, transfer. Uh, we want to transfer to the Cthulhu. There we go. Okay, so it is storing a little bit more than I expected. Good. Now we just have to wait for them to uh, finish their sleep. So we also need to take care of... Minor things like temperature. Let's uh, have a look at that as well. So the temperature is not ideal. Let's just say that. Thermal regulators. Uh, I think we can safely build a wall thermal regulator there. there we want to go one two three four and we should be able to build one there now i don't think these are covered by current power grid which is a problem so actually we didn't want to remove that because we want to have a um, a wall power node there, I believe. And we want a wall power node there. Sadly, that does not cover everything. However, what I can do is something as simple as this. Move it there, and now it's covered. Uh, we probably also should consider building some lighting here. So let's do that. Yeah, I think... Yeah, that, that actually works now. You can build that above. You couldn't do that before. Well, that's a good change. You can also build on the corner now. I don't really need that much light. Some light would be good. If we have a light there... Then a light on the corner there as well. Should be good for that. Yeah. We need to deal with the, uh, the walls for the beds, but let's, let's have them transfer over things before we do that. if I do actually bi-directional. This one needs to be linked.
This one doesn't have power. Okay, well, then we're gonna move it. Um, this is one, two, three, four, five. There's supposed to be a door there, so I think we need to place that here then. Probably should speed things down so we, that we don't use up our resources. But not until they wake up and start working. There we go. We need to build a shuttle. Um, the door for the shuttle hangar should be like that, I think. Now we can actually go out onto the power node. That's new. So we want two shuttles on this vessel. Uh, but I don't think we need to build both of them just yet. One of them should suffice. How much do we have on the Hulu? Let's make some more... Uh, can I remove the power grid, please? Let's make some more... Um, steel plates. And then we can make a couple more hull blocks. We need 0.5 each, so that's 10. Yeah, this is 10, good. The infra blocks, we can make more of those. And we should probably make a few more water. We have 33. Right. Just set this to continuous then. You haven't transferred the uh, infra blocks for some reason. We're working on it. Uh, let's transfer 10 of those, 20 of those. We can set this one to not accept the blocks. Same with this one. Go. Yeah, we just have to wait for them to transfer stuff. What's wrong with this? Cannot reach that temperature. Cannot remove space suit. Now the question is, can we build? I wonder. I wonder. Life support, wall thermoregulate. Have they... Ah! Isn't that nice? That is actually... I don't know how many of these we need, but... Uh... We'll find out quickly enough. What is the temperature like now? A little freezing. This thing here, how many steps? 
I want it. Well, I do know that, let's put this back down there, I do know that I want to have a door here, which means we need a wall there. And then we also want a door here. After that, it's one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six. And then another door. And that's five. Two, three, four, five. And another door. And that should be the final door there. So we can flip this wall. And then there's another industrial looking kind of type door going there. And we'll add the walls there. And that means we just want to build one door going all the way, or one wall going all the way down here because reasons. Uh, because this is going to be the uh, grow room. There's supposed to be uh, a walk path here. This is the industry room. Uh, we need more power. Uh, wall power node. There. There. Of course, we can't build one there because of the, um, the door. But with the new system... Okay, let's dismantle this wall. There is more stuff to transfer. I spent too much time sleeping. Who needs sleep? Silly people. Here are our trusted workers. I think I want to prioritize this one and this one. And I don't think we can prioritize. It, but I can assign someone manually to that. What? Thank you. And then let's move that door one over. Wally, you go do that. Uh, Miss. And then we should build this final bit of wall here. The thermal regulators will, will do much when when the uh, vents are open. That's probably why the temperature isn't really increasing that much. Well, it is getting much better.
41 hard blocks. Everyone's coffee break again, so I guess that it's time to uh, speed things up. One thing that I do know that I want is... Now where is that life support air vent? We want to have an air vent there and there. Other than that, uh, do we have enough infra blocks? Yeah, we have plenty of them. Good. It's time to start working on the walls down here so that we get the, uh, the rooms right. Now this should be four. Good. So for now we can do five. Like that. There should be... This is a... I don't get this. I might have done a mistake here. Sure. No, I haven't done a mistake. Um, this is exactly how it's supposed to be. I should have... As a matter of fact, let's do that. Uh, remove this object, remove this object, remove this object, remove this object. And then go into the uh, sketch where we activate one more line here. much better and then we can go back to building the walls we should have two bedrooms up there then another bedroom two here and here and the final bedroom should be here, but here I haven't activated enough of the uh, sketch I see, which is not very promising in terms of what I'm looking at here. Hold on here. Maybe that's what I did wrong. Maybe I've built this one too far down. Okay, can I mass remove? Now that would be an interesting feature. Let's see, yeah, because that's exactly what I've done wrong. Uh, this door is not supposed to be there door is supposed to be there. Uh, okay, let's see. Is there a key binding for remove selection? Delete. So if I do this and then this, there we go. And we redo this when finished. There we go. Okay, let's try that one more time. So, the door should be there. Which means that there's supposed to be a wall going all the way there. And that is part of the sketch that I need to activate. So. Can I put up 
the speed again. Objects war. And we go one down. And five across, two up. Down, two down, three across. Good. Then we go five across, five across, and five across. Two down, two down, one. And now we should have room for another room there. Good. Now that looks much better. Need to be ready with a wall there as well. Like so, and then this. Now there's supposed to go a wall over there. So we need to activate... Actually, let's start at the bottom there. By rotating the wall. Then go in. Four. 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 Now I should add that it's strict it isn't strictly necessary to have one single bedroom per crew member, but I just like being nice. Rotating the door. Okay, that's next. Power, we need another wall power node here. Then we need a wall power node here. I'm not going to build that one yet because that is redundant. This one, however, is not redundant. That also means we need here. We look carefully at how to make this grid. And these require energy blocks. We have no energy blocks left. At least not on the Kleitos. On Cthulhu we have nine. How do we make energy blocks? I uh, kind of worry that we can't make energy. I think we can. I have a strong suspicion that we're going to need a machine that we don't have. Metal refinery? No, I am... Fairly certain that I'm correct here. We, we need a different machine. So I can't build too many of the power nodes. Which is a slight issue. Uh, which building do we use to build energy node uh, blocks? I'm sure which one. Oh, we don't have any of them yet. That's not ideal. Oh well. Uh, let's link that one to that one. So that's a new challenge that I haven't had to deal with before.
We want to have in-floor power nodes. That's the hallway. We go one up and two out. There should be four between. One, two, three, four. Does that mean that we can put a wall power node? Ah, oh, they haven't built the um, the wall bit there yet. Sneaking suspicion that they're about to go to bed. Didn't mean to go there. Um, how do I link these up? We have seven left. Uh, that means we need to have another inflow power node. In the middle of this room and then we go to this room where we go four out one two three four yeah this is four out and another four in between then we go up. That's supposed to be five in between. That's two, three, four, five. That seems a bit of a waste, actually. Need to fix that. Because we don't need these. But that's fine. see here um hmm. yeah okay well i think we need to finish this in the next episode and hopefully we'll finish the ship in the next episode as well but only having two energy uh, blocks left this does not look too promising in terms of uh, energy so we need to start dismantling some of these um, because I need to be able to build five. Uh, quickly check the links and the power grid. I suspect that this one might be redundant. No, it is not. This one is redundant for now. Let's dismantle that. So, yeah. It's problematic that we don't get enough energy blocks. Did these things require energy blocks to build? Yeah, one. The same as a node requires. Well, I might have to have a look at that because I have overlapping nodes. Quite extensively overlapping, so I might be able to do that in a more efficient way. But for now, thank you all so much for joining me in this episode. If you have any questions or comments, do feel free to leave them in the comment section. Or you can also join us in our Discord server. You'll find the link to that in the description of the video. I will see you all next episode.